guys so this weekend's vlog is going to be a little bit of a messy one the vlog i planned was a first show back since covid19 but unfortunately after looking at the drawn orders and the times for tomorrow the classes were so far apart like i think ryan's classes are at 10 30 a.m is it 10 no 10 a.m and 12 30 and then brian's was meant to be at 5 p.m and i'm not gonna lie i just don't really think it's fair on him to leave him on the lorry for well this five hours in between ryan and brian's classes but like seven like over seven hours before he even gets to jump like it's not fair at all and although we do need to get our um double clears for Andrew, and he does really need to, he should and he should have really gone out before arena k next weekend it can't be helped and i'd just rather not take him and make him wait on the lorry for seven hours he's not young anymore his legs need to be walking he can't just be standing for that long and it's just not fair on them so he's not going to go anymore which is obviously a little bit disappointing as i was really looking forward to getting him back out but yeah he's not going so i'm just going to give him a little pop today and I, I had a lesson on wednesday but they both have physio on monday along with water treadmill so after the physio they won't be able to jump for a couple of days so it's not like i can jump him during the week as a last prep before arena and neither with ryan so i'm just going to give him a quick jump today and yeah so today's vlog is just going to be a kind of show prep i'm going to jump brian so i'll show you that so it'll be a little bit it'll be a bit, it'll be a bit of an added extra and then i will sort out the lorry for tomorrow i need to clean my tack i need to clean ryan because he looks very scruffy and yeah i'm just going to show you everything that i do as a show prep and then tomorrow i will wake up obviously do all my jobs in the morning and i'll bring you along with me for the show so yeah let's get going i'm just gonna go and empty the wheelbarrow as i got back later today as i went to see my friends last night so i'm just gonna go empty my wheelbarrow go get changed and yeah i'll come back out and put some jumps out and we'll get going so i'm just going to talk you through all three products that i have with me and just what they do and how they differ to normal compression to normal compression products that you would buy so i just normal bandages or magnetic boots or things like that so yeah let's get into it so first of all i just want to say a huge thank you to incrediware and i've already said it once but i just want to say another big thank you to them for sending me some of their products to try and review for you guys i've been really wanting these products for a long time now but i've never just been able to afford to buy them all in one go and yeah i've just never really got around to it like i've always had other things that i've needed to spend my money on before buying them but i'm so happy now that i have them and i can share with you guys my experiences and why i think that you should all have them in your tack room but i constantly get asked by you guys what products i use to reduce swelling and increase recovery time especially in competition horses as i know a lot of you guys like me have not old horses but horses that are getting on and that you want to look after and make sure that their legs feel fresh after a show uh, and especially at stairway shows when they jump in multiple days but honestly i cannot recommend their the incredible wear products enough and i honestly think that everyone needs either the hoof socks the bandages or the bandage pads like even having one of the products it makes a huge difference i just want to quickly go into how incredible wear works differently to compression products before i go into each individual product that i have so unlike the normal compression therapy products they do not actually need compression to work so basically what happens is so instead the semiconductor elements within the fabric release negative ions when heated by their body heat which then activate molecular vibrations which increase the blood circulation as well as lymphatic flow which stops swelling in their legs by increasing the blood flow and lymphatic drainage oxygen and nutrients are actually brought to the target areas which actually speed up the body healing process and help to accelerate recovery time so first up we have the exercise bandages and like i said they have like a little flap here if i can open it with one hand like this it basically just tells you more about what they do and how they actually work rather than obviously compression therapy and when you get them out they look like this so they're in a nice sealed pack to keep them clean and dry and yeah i'm not going to take them out yet only because i haven't used them so yeah when you get them out they look like this 
And yes, they are actually exercise bandages, so you can ride in them, which is amazing because they do all of the effects that the hoof socks do, as well as the bandage pads. So although you can exercise in them, you can also use them as injury recovery as well. But what makes their products even better is that the exercise bandages and the hoof socks you can actually use for icing after you ride. So what you can do is when you get off, you can either, if you're gonna exercise in the exercise bandages, you can hose them down. And if you hose them like every 10 or so minutes, they last up to like 45 minutes to an hour of icing effect, which is amazing. As well as increasing lymphatic drainage and speeding up recovery when drier, you're probably thinking how do hosing down the hoof socks and the exercise bandages actually work as icing? Unlike obviously icing products that you get, like ice boots that you put in the freezer. But basically what happens is an endothermic reaction occurs when you when you hose down the bandages or the hoof sock, which results in a decrease in surface temperature, resulting in a cooling of their legs. And they honestly do work, like I've tried them and they last for a long time. And it's amazing because it's like a two products in one, rather than ha having to buy ice boots and having to buy like magnetic boots, they do both in one. And they actually work better than magnetic boots because they don't need compression to work. So the retail price for these is around £70. I think it's about £72, which I know seems quite expensive for bandages. But you've got to think about the fact that they can be used for multiple different things. Like they are exercise bandages, so you can work them in them as well as they work as an, as an icing effect. Like I said, if you hose them after ridden work. So honestly, they are really worth the money. Next up, we have the standing wraps that I just told you guys about. You can just put normal bandages on them. I use normal bandages with them as I want to keep my exercise bandages clean and just use them for workouts and maybe traveling. So this is what they look like. Please bear in mind, I've used mine a couple of times now. So they aren't the cleanest and they do need a wash, but Basically, they look like this. As you can see, I've got some stains on them. And you know which side that you have to use because it says active side here. So you use this side down, face down on their legs. And this is what they look like the other side. As you can see, they're a little bit stained. But you can wash them in the washing machine. You just can't tumble dry them or iron them. You just wash them. I think it's like 30 degrees, but make sure you double check that. So they do come up really clean. But yeah, as you can see, I just don't really want to wash them all the time. So I'm leaving them a couple more uses before I wash them. So these are designed to fit comfortably around the horse's legs to help reduce the risk of injury in their stables as well as when traveling. They are actually really comfortable. Like I wish that I could wear them. <laughs> they are really soft and squidgy. Like they are so soft. Like the material is really quality. And the material is honestly amazing. They help accelerate recovery time and improve performance just like the exercise bandages do these along with the exercise bandages are really good for different injuries i will tell you a few of the different injuries that these can be really good at treating so suspensory swelling so swelling in the suspensories these are great for injuries like that as well as like check ligament injuries i've had that with brian and i know that i wished i bought them before to help him with recovery for that as well as things like wingles which is like a swelling in the bottom of their legs in the bottom of their fetlocks it's like little squish i'm pretty sure they're squishy they're like little squishy lumps that you get which is like a little bit of swelling and inflammation as well as splints and stocking up so they're good for all of all of those things they work amazing if you do want to know more make sure to dm them they're more than happy to answer any questions that you may have and they're honestly so easy and quick to talk to like they reply very quickly so yeah feel free to give them a message if you have any questions about them products or if there are any injuries that your horses are recovering from and you'd like to know what product would maybe suit your horse suit your horses recovery the best they retail at 112 pounds which i know seems like a lot of money but like i said they are honestly worth it and if you have a horse that is recovering from any of those injuries or you just have a competition horse or a horse its legs get swell that, that swell up get inflamed honestly i would get these because they are amazing and have so many amazing reviews just check out their facebook or their instagram or even their website to see the amazing reviews they have so you know they honestly really do work lastly we have their circulation hoof socks 
I have honestly been wanting to try these out for months since, since hearing about them from friends as well as seeing them on Instagram. These are used, these can be used for post-workout recovery as well as injury recovery, travel and night rest, as well as icing just like the exercise bandages are. So you can actually use these to travel with but make sure if you do use them to travel, you put bandages over the top so they don't fall down as the last thing you want is for them to come off or the whole stand on them and maybe like rip them so make sure you put bandage pads and bandages over the top if you're going to travel in them they have many different benefits like reduced swelling soreness and muscle fatigue and just like the exercise bandages and standing wraps they're amazing at accelerating recovery time and like i said just like the exercise bandages you can also use them as icing so after you ride it just takes like literally under a minute to put them on and they last up to 45 they last from up to 45 minutes to an hour of cold icing which is amazing if you don't have time to stand there and cold hose your horse's legs i'd highly recommend them these treat slightly different conditions to the exercise bandages and standing wraps so the different injuries that these can treat or conditions that they can treat they can really help with horses with laminitis which is really great for me as ryan can suffer with laminitis in the spring luckily not badly but it is helpful to have these. What you do is you hose them and they can be used wet to treat laminata to reduce the laminar inflammation. They're also great for horses that have navicular disease and are recommended to be used overnight in the stable, as well as for injuries like the deep digital flexor tendon injuries or horses that are just bad footed and need help with hoof growth or quarter cracks. But like I said, if you're wondering if there are any injuries that these could help with these could help your horses recover with please feel free to message them email them dm them they are like i said more than happy to answer any questions that you may have now i've spoken in depth about these products you all i'm really excited to show you all the difference they make to my own personal horses so you know that i'm not just telling you to get these because i was giving them for free i honestly love these products so much and i would never recommend a product to you guys i wouldn't use personally myself all the time so keep watching the vlog further on you will see my own personal experiences with using these products and how they help my horses <laughs> I'm actually going to go and get the boys in um, now because the world's a bit bored. There's no grass out there. Um, we're still waiting for the grass in the other fields to grow a bit more before they move over. So I'm just going to get them in because they can have some hay in their stables, they can chill. And there's so many flies. Oh, it's actually horrendous. Like, they get their fly masks off and I go out there and there's like 20 flies on one eye it's really disgusting and they irritate them so it would be nice for me to just bring them in they can have a chill before they get ridden chilling but no you're getting irritated come on come on in come on in let's go look at the flies around him come on look at them flies so i just grabbed them both here's ryan and there's Brian, if you can see him. Oh, these flies, honestly, they're all over me. It's actually disgusting. Even when it's like a bit cloudy, but it's still warm, there's so many of them out. Here, come on. Just... Oh, you needed me. Thanks. Run away. Come on. Child. Pull this off. Pull this off. Be free. <laughs> I'm just trying to get that on the floor. Yeah, both boys are in. They both got hay nets. So, 
I'm going to take the rugs off and take the boots off and go in and get changed and then I'll see you guys in a bit. Right, so I've got changed and I'm just about to set up some jumps. I'm not going to do too much of him. I'm just going to do like a little exercise, maybe two exercises. I'm not really sure. So yeah, I will be back. There's a bus on me. Go away. Why? <laughs> I honestly hate wasps so much. So yeah, anyway, I'll be back once I've set them out. These are the exercises I've set up. It's literally just three kind of strides to an ox art with some V-poles just to get him to be neat with his front legs. And I'm gonna make this wider, just to get him to stretch over his back. And then same as I did, was it last? No, a couple of sessions ago, I did this exercise where you trot into the pole, canter over the pole and then jump the jump and then canter over the pole afterwards. And he did, that, he did that really nicely. So I thought I would just do this again. It really got him to actually sit back and sit on his hocks and make a nice shape over it. So yeah. Hey guys, the new addition to the tack room as well. So we recently put in a like hat stands. Um, excuse me, please get out. <laughs> I've literally been attacked by like so many things today. This is really embarrassing. <laughs> so, anyway, carry on. Some new hat stands, which I think looks really smart. I've been wanting to do this for like since we've got the tat room done, but we just didn't really know where to put them because, as you can see, there's not really enough room in here. It's packed as it is. So, yeah, we decided to put them there, and I think it looks really good. So, we've just got my show hat and my normal hat, my sister's show hat and her normal hat. And then that is my mum's hat that used to be mine. And then we just put some more rosettes up underneath, along with the rosettes already up here. And then obviously we've got some pictures that have been up here. And then also um, we did recently put up a board, which is here, like a little timetable. I've only got Ryan and Brian on there because my sister's not that bothered. But, and please ignore the dates. I know these are the wrong dates, but I forgot to redo this week's. So I just left it and I'm just going to start again from Monday. But yeah, we basically just put all our extra jobs, and extra jobs and things going on that aren't along the next week on the board. So we don't forget. And then any arena hire from friends I put up there and extras like we had a shaving delivery on Wednesday last week. Yeah, it was last week. Um... And then, yeah, just what I'm going to do with the boys. So, yeah. Ready to be ridden. Look more enthusiastic, Brian. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna give him a little jump. He's got his incredible bandages on. They are so pretty. So yeah, the exercise bandages. So I'm gonna jump him in those because they help with circulation. Got his C equestrian number on, and I am kitted out in my C stuff. So these are my Ego 7 boots. My carrots leggings, which are so uncomfortable, which are so comfortable and have the grip on the inside of your legs. And they also have a belt, like belt, what are they called? The belt loops. And they have foam pockets, which are really deep, so your foam won't fall out. Also wearing my Equifeme t-shirt, which is here. It's very breathable and very pretty, actually. Like, it seems plain, but it's very classy. And like I said, really comfortable material. It's really nice. And yeah, really breathable. And I'm just tucked it in. So yeah, let's get riding.
stupid dog in the background. I've just finished jumping Brian and oh my god he was literally insane like he jumped incredible and we ended on like a 140 oxa and he literally just pinged it like he makes it feel so easy like when I look at him like I know he's talented but I don't even realize how talented he really is like he literally jumped it like it was 90 so yeah he jumped amazing and he he was really listening to me so yeah that'll be him done now before it ring uk and i'm really excited to take him out and to get him to jump more 120s and because he finds it so easy so yeah this is what i just this ox off and then we just jumped like a 125 upright but where i'm on him it looks smaller but he's a good boy but yeah i like the look cool is meaty, to say the least. He's such a star. Yeah, he jumped amazing, like I said. And yeah, I'm just gonna give him a little walk off and then I'll get off and sort him out. And then I'm gonna lunge Ryan today. I'm not gonna hack him because the roads seem quite busy outside of our house. So I don't really wanna take him out and like scare him or anything. So yeah, I'm not gonna take him out. I'm gonna lunge him and then I will wash him. I need to unpack his mane and give it a wash, we give him a wash and then yeah we'll start packing the lorry. quickly show you guys the difference between Brian's legs after he's had the exercise bandages on compared to when he hasn't and his legs are a little bit more swollen and inflamed so I'm just going to take it off and I'll show you the difference as you can see I've already taken that one off and you can already see his legs swell and you can't really see the definition anymore and I will show you this later when they do swell back up because it happens every day but so this is what it looks like I don't really want to put it on the floor. I might just put my phone down. I'm just going to take it off. And you'll be able to see definition you can see in his tendon. So you can see it all here. You can probably see all the definition the whole way down. Whereas once his legs are inflamed, you can't see that. So same as the other side. You can really see the definition which shows how well they actually do work because they really do help with the blood circulation and lymphatic drainage and they do really help with recovery as well and brian do you like them do you approve do you approve yeah that means he approves <laughs> do you approve brian so yeah i'm just gonna go hang it up and then yeah he can go back in his stable just gonna quickly so i've just quickly went and had some dinner because it's around five o'clock now i think I just need to lunge Brian and I am going to bandage Brian's legs now with the Incredaware stable bandages or pads. So I will show you that and then I'm going to lunge Ryan. I probably will show you a little bit of that but not the whole thing because obviously it's boring. And then when I come back over I will give him a bath, sort him out, make him look a little bit smarter. And then I'm also going to bandage him tonight because otherwise he his legs will have stains all over them in the morning. So yeah and I'll probably pat his towel as well. So it doesn't get day. But Brian, you ready to be bandaged up? 
I got some water. Can you have a drink? No, you simple faces. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna do that and yes, I'll see you guys in a bit. So Brian's legs are bandaged. Hey Mizog. <laughs> with the incredible stable wraps, like I said. So hopefully they are just going to help with any with recovery, especially as he had a good jump today. Just to help with to stop like inflammation and to help with blood flow and lymphatic drainage. So yeah. Are you ready to be bandaged? Look at his scarf. Come here, you've got a tear. You have a tear. You have a tear. Here. Oh, he's all scores. Can you stop fighting Brian, please, in the field? Thank you very much. Deal with when I lunge. This. Spooking at nothing. Literally nothing. Are you serious? This is partially why I didn't want to video myself lunging because this happens. He just gallops around like an idiot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Trotting, 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 trotting. Really? Trotting, this is what I have to deal with. Trotting, woo. You've dug up the arena, woo. Ryan, you're cantering on the wrong leg. Whoa. Oh my God. Whoa. 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 Stallion. Woo, stallion. Woo, stallion. Woo. Woo, stallion. You've ruined the arena. Thank you very much for that. Whoa. Whoa. Till you come, your shit, because we have a show tomorrow. Whoa. 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 Because I think it's harmless we're getting today. Good boy. Boy. And this was after like literally 15 minutes of trotting around, galloping, bronking, kicking out, squealing. That is Ryan done. After a bit of a tantrum. As you can see, he's a little bit puffed out now. Hopefully, he won't be too crazy tomorrow. And he won't be like he is now. Cause that's not going to be too fun. <laughs> well, I've just taken away the lunch stuff off and I'm going to give him a bath. So I'll time lapse that and then I need to make some feeds and then we will get tech cleaning. <laughs> So, I finished cleaning Ryan, so he's had a bath everywhere. I've tried to trim his mane, but that's not my forte, so I gave up. I have put bandages on his back legs and the magnetic boots on the front legs to try and keep them a little bit cleaner tonight. He's fed up because he's been standing there for like an hour. And you're not very patient, are you? Not very patient, are you? But he looks a lot more cleaner and ready for his first show in God knows how long, since like February. His face is covered in scars. 
keeps having fights with Brian out in the field across the fence. Him biting each other. So now he's Scarface. So that's great. So yeah, I'm just gonna go put him back in his stable and then I will get the lorry packed and we'll show you what we've packed. Excuse me. Because I don't want to show you guys show, show you guys me packing it because I can't actually rest my phone anywhere. So, so it is currently like half seven. 7.30 p.m. and I just need to, so the boys are sorted out, I just need to finish them off later once I've had dinner. I am just gonna quickly clean my tack, yeah, and my boots, and yeah, and then I'll pack it in the lorry, show you everything that we've packed, go inside, eat some grub, and then go to bed. Well, shower first, then go to bed, and then I'll end up seeing you guys in the morning. But obviously first we need to do all this, and it's been a long day, so let's get... I just went and had dinner because it was ready and then so I've just got to finish cleaning my boots and I cleaned everything else. Hello boys. Your main looks a mess. Nice. Right, so I'm just gonna quickly clean my boots and then we'll pack the lorry. I'll show you the pack lorry and then I think we'll be done. Rita is packed. I've got my saddle, my girth. Two numbers because I want to wear my Aventus one and my SU Equestrian one. My half pad, ice five boots go on before I ride. Ice boots go on after I ride. His jumping boots, which are of course the Echo Brilliant ones, open fronted. Make sure you take a look at them. Then moving on, my whip, my hoof foil, my citronella wash, my muscle wash some cooling gel, a sweat scraper and a sponge and of course a bucket, my bridle. Um, in the morning I'm going to bring over my grooming kit after I've given him a quick groom over. That should be it. Oh and also my stuff. So my boots are here, they've been cleaned, my Ego 7 ones from the Equestrian and then my hat. That is me done for tonight. It is I think about half eight now. I'm a bit knackered. I didn't get home and from my friends until like half 11, 12. Hello, Ryan. He wants to say hello. He wants to eat my hair. He wants to eat my face. Please don't bite me. But are you going to say night? night you're going to push me out the way. Thanks. So, yeah, well, I'll see you guys in the morning, bright and early. Well, actually, not that early. I think we're leaving at, I think, nine, which is quite nice. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. So, I did, well, I didn't film this morning. I didn't film this morning because I woke up very late and yeah, it was all a bit of a rush. So I thought, I'm just not gonna film because filming takes everything twice as long. So I've just, well, I got up, I fed, I mucked up Ryan and then I chucked the other three out. Ryan's now in. I'm gonna muck up Brian when I get back because I haven't really got time. So now I'm just gonna quickly run over and have some breakfast, come back over, give him a quick groom, and then we will be leaving. So I've just come back from having some breakfast. Ryan has chucked his hay everywhere. So I look like a bit of a mess because I'm wearing some yarn bottoms because otherwise my jumpers would be black. And you can see here, I've got stains on them. So yeah, good job I did put them on. But anyway, that's just in case you think, what is she wearing? All my other ones are in the wash. Oh, I should be turning these off. Probably gonna get copyrighted to the music. But anyway, 
I'm just gonna quickly give him a quick room over from where he's been in his stable overnight. Bandage his front legs, he doesn't have anything on his back legs when traveling because he tries to kick the back of the lorry, otherwise. Because he doesn't like really things being on his back legs. So yeah, we're gonna bandage him up, give him a groom, and we'll be ready to leave. Just brought him out for some grass while waiting to leave. A bit of a leg stretch because he hasn't been out of his stable this morning. Look how clean his legs are. They're not going to look like that when we get there, especially the back ones. I'll just take his towel and um, plait out as well when we get there. Because otherwise he's just going to end up pooing in it, so... Luna is trying to suss out Ryan. Ryan's eating the fawn things. Luna's like, what are you doing? Unipoo, what's he doing? Oh, what's he doing, Unipoo? Oh. Look how shiny he is. I feed him on pure feed, if anyone's wondering. I feed him on the working one. But look how shiny he is. He looks so good. Do you see he's put a lot more weight on as well? He was a bit skinny to... Oh, God. <laughs> He was a bit on the skinny side, but he's looking a lot better. So we are ready to go. He's been bandaged up. Like I said, can't put bandage on his back legs, but his front legs bandaged with the Incredaware, the Incredaware stable wrap. You can use them to travel with. So you can use them to travel with and they keep the blood circulation going and stop any swelling, which is great. So yeah, we are just getting ready to leave now. You look orange. <laughs> so I've got my Make Peace Show shirt, my ELT breeches, the Goya ones with a navy belt and my Ego 7 boots. We are ready to get tacked up. I've walked the course. It is looking quite nice. So fingers crossed he jumps well. How did he lie alright? Um, he heard the lorry start so he shut himself in the uh, thing and then he... Look at his face. Like, no. and then again, he went, oh, chair. He's a good boy. Doesn't like the chair. Oh my god, he looks like a pony down there. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, bite each other. Ryan's like, no, I like grass more. Yeah. <laughs> well, he wouldn't want to go. He wouldn't go in there. <laughs> no, he's not gonna put his yeah, I've just put this on because it's dark. Huh? boy.
Yeah. Jumped clear in the British North East, didn't you? Jump clear. His eyes watering because of flies. But yeah, he jumped clear and we're just waiting for the discovery. Right, what? Mum. 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 What? Say hello. Hello. What's <laughs> my vlog? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my vlog. Vlog. <laughs> vlog. 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 Probably him eating in the back. So I'm sorry that I haven't been able to vlog that much. I don't really want to vlog at all in front of people. But yeah, well, I went really well in the British Novice. Really? Jumped really well in the British Novice. He jumped clear. It wasn't the neat sounds. He did jump the best, but he went clear. So we're just waiting for the discovery. I've just had something to eat and it should be starting soon. I think the last person just gone in. So I'll go over and walk the course and then we'll get him packed up. And yeah. I'm being watched. jump in he is all bandaged up and ready to go he jumped well in the discovery and just got a bit cocky so we had two down one towards the beginning i think and then the last because he went to stop and then didn't stop but yeah we're going now so good boy good day Can you get me a pepsi so yeah we're just going to go home Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hi. 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 Yes, so sweaty. I'm just gonna um chuck him back out. He can go back out and have a leg stretch for an hour or so because he hasn't been out today. Need to unpack the lorry, need to muck out Brian. And then we will be done. Right, so we're home. Both boys are out. I've got some hay because we have no grass in the fields. We get attacked by flies. So today was okay, I guess. I mean, I feel like my standards are a bit too high sometimes. He jumped okay in the British Novice, which is nine centimeters. Um, 
he jumped clear he tapped a few but luckily they stayed up but he actually won it which kind of proves how fast we were going considering i won it and i went all the way around like i won the british section and i should be happy about that because i've only ever had a rose on him once and it was his first ever win but it just wasn't a very nice round i wasn't very pleased with it he wasn't really listening to me he didn't jump very well so yeah that was a bit frustrating and then i did the discovery which was a meter it's probably the biggest we've only ever done one meter and that was a blue, blue, blue farm Brew farm so yeah that was our second ever meter and it was built bigger than the one that Brew farm was and he jumped some of them quite nicely but again he wasn't really listening to me he got a bit too forward and he had two down one was because he was just a little bit lazy and the other one was the last jump he um the dogs have just noticed me really. he went to run out and i managed to keep him in but he's still he, i think i whacked it i whacked my leg on it i whacked my leg on the wing and i think that's what took it down i think he probably would have hit anyway but i know my leg literally whacked the wing so i think it was a mixture of both but yeah wasn't very pleased with that round either but it's all learning he hasn't been out in four months he found it all very exciting so hopefully at Arena UK next weekend, we can kind of sort it out, kind of get him to just slow back down again. I he's just getting a bit too cocky, but yeah. I'm just gonna leave the vlog at this because I've got a lot of jobs left to do and my phone's actually gonna die. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a bit of a longer vlog, I think, than usual. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys next week.